you're probably anticipating the following endgame facts. So, what exactly are we going to see in this new film? The remaining heroic Avengers saving the universe, hopefully, or what's left of it. Following the catastrophic events of Avengers Infinity War, Thanos destroyed over half of the life in the universe. However, hope never dies. With the surviving universe in ashes, the remaining Avengers and their allies will do everything to stop the evil Thanos. They have to bring peace back to the universe. Are they going to make it? We don't know yet. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 Marvel Endgame facts to know before watching the movie. Twenty-five. It's already breaking records. One of the records the film has broken, becoming the first official trailer in YouTube history to reach over a million likes in less than four hours. Let's smash that record with uh, with with this video. Come on, guys, we can do it. I believe in us. I don't. Yeah, I know. I don't either. Twenty-four. Endgame also broke the record for being the film with the most pre-sale tickets sold within twenty-four hours. The crazy thing is that. It didn't even need 24 hours to accomplish that. It broke the record in only six. 23. The Endgame trailer amassed an incredible 289 million views in the first 24 hours, beating its predecessor, Infinity War. The former record holder had a total of 230 million views in the first 24 hours. 22. It's going to be the 22nd film to be released by Marvel Studios for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 21. Endgame will be 3 hours and 2 minutes long, or 182 minutes if you prefer it that way. To put it simply, it will be the longest Marvel movie in history. 20. Filming took place at Pinewood Atlanta Studios in Fayette County, Georgia. Additionally, more filming took place in the downtown and metro Atlanta areas and New York. 19. Hurricane Irma became an obstacle for the film's producers. On September 11th, 2017, the production of Endgame was shut down temporarily due to the natural phenomenon. 18. Anthony and Joe Russo directed the film, as they did for Infinity War, with the use of IMAX RE2D cameras. This is the first time a Hollywood film is entirely shot with IMAX digital cameras. God, I hope that's not 3D. Should it be 3D? No. Did they shoot it in 2D? Yeah. No, I know, but... I feel like 2D camera is not impressive. Right. True. I'm going to see it in IMAX 2D. <laughs> 17. Fans who want to understand the meaning behind the term endgame have come to the right place. Endgame describes the final stage of a game, such as chess, when very few pieces remain on the board. With only a few Avengers remaining and half of the universe destroyed, Endgame is a fitting title for this film. Doctor Strange said the thing in the last movie. Speaking of that, 16. Interesting fact, Endgame refers to a Doctor Strange quote from Infinity War. After handing the Time Stone to Thanos, Doctor Strange tells Tony Stark, we're in the Endgame now. Woo! 15. According to news reports, Endgame is expected to be the most intense and emotional film in MCU history. So, for better or for worse, you should probably have a Kleenex on you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Break my heart, Russos. <laughs> 14. Evangeline Lilly revealed Endgame reminded her of Kate in Lost, especially in the show's fourth season. Season four of Lost was laid in with mind-bending scenarios and flash forwards. 13. Endgame will be the first film ever to include both the Hulk and Ant-Man. Rumors have it that Endgame will turn Ant-Man into one of its most significant superheroes. Now, it, it's not... No. Banus. No. Banus. No. 12. Mark Ruffalo revealed Endgame would be his last time suiting up as the Hulk. If that's true, who would you want to see as the new Hulk? 11. Endgame is Robert Downey Jr.'s last contractual duty to portray Iron Man for Marvel Studios. But don't worry, though. I have good news. Downey Jr. recently announced he plans to continue portraying Iron Man. Downey Jr. We do. RDJ. That's fine. I call him Robsy. Just don't call him Downey Jr. Robsy. He and I are friends. Oh, What's up, Robsy? 10. 
Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth each made $15 million for the film. Not bad, huh? I made $15 million for this. No, I didn't. Getting paid? <laughs> Nine. Hawkeye sports a new haircut in this movie. To be specific, he wears an eye-popping mohawk, and it brings out the inner MMA fighter in him. Needless to say, we approve. Mohawk eye. I, yes, it's Mohawk eye. Eight. The official trailers of the film don't reveal too many details. However, they do reveal that our favorite gang has new suits, and they look friggin' awesome in them. Seven. Kevin Feige revealed that footage used in both trailers and TV spots were from the first 15 minutes of the film. Unfortunately, Feige kept the contents of the other 167 minutes a secret. Sorry, folks, there is no footage circulating the internet. Is that how you say his name? Kevin Feige? Yeah. How would you pronounce it? Kevin Feige. <laughs> he's, that's probably how he's like, hi, I'm Kevin Feige. I don't know, that's how I always assumed it was. I never looked into his name. <laughs> it's now Kevin Feige. Six. Kevin Feige. <laughs> Kevin Feige also revealed another cool fact. The Star Trek Next Generation finale episode titled All Good Things inspired the plot of Endgame. Do you think the upcoming Avengers film will follow the structure of All Good Things? Let us know in the comments below. Five. Quicksilver was spotted on the set of the upcoming film. While photos show he was there, there's still no confirmation he will appear in the movie. Perhaps he'll make a cameo in a flashback scene from Avengers Age of Ultron? Four. Marvel released a toy showcasing Thanos' new weapon. It's a badass double-bladed sword that can kill a bunch of people instantly. Nothing is confirmed yet, but it definitely tells us that Thanos probably kills more unfortunate souls in the film. Three. Netflix's Marvel characters will not be in this film. Budget and script issues killed the whole idea. So if you're expecting to see Daredevil, Elektra, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, the Iron Fist, or the Punisher, well, you can forget it. Two. The original release date was May 3rd, 2019. But because of the massive success of the opening of Avengers Infinity War in the last week of April, Marvel became superstitious. So now you know why Endgame will open earlier than expected. Which I'm okay with. One. Endgame is supposed to put an end to the Thanos and Infinity Stone story arc in the MCU. Will this be the mother of all wars? I can't wait. I actually have a... Oh crap. I've got my tickets. I'm ready. Do you have your tickets yet? Yes, I do. If you spoil this movie, we'll ban you. Oh yeah, don't spo Well, this should come out before the movie's out. Well, yeah. So, but don't spoil Still, it. Still, we'll ban you. I had people spoil Star Wars when we were going because mm -hmm. I was reading comments. Don't spoil it. Um, but also, who's your favorite MCU character? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at List25. Doctor Strange. Yeah? Yeah, he saw the movie 14 million times and didn't spoil it. Yes, I know. I stole that from the internet. I saw it yesterday. Be mm -hmm. like Doctor Strange. Don't spoil the... I was going to say, don't spoil the internet. We're too late. But in all seriousness, his past <clears throat> two movies have turned Thor into my favorite adventure. Thor's pretty good. He is pretty good. His past two... Oh, you're including... Yeah, like Infinity Thor, Ragnarok, War. and okay, Infi okay. Infinity War. Also, yeah. don't bring a baby. Don't like, bring babies. Don't don't bring a baby into Endgame. Don't bring a baby into the movies. That's, Unless it's a kid's thing. I'm talking about actual babies. Oh, yeah. Don't babies do that. that don't understand what's going on. Yeah, don't no bring a baby into the theater. You know, so, okay, so Thor is your favorite right now. Right MC. now, yeah. Okay. I think mine's easy. Although, I really, well, yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Although, I really, Captain oh. America's up there, too. I'm planning on going as Star-Lord to the movies. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should. It's going to be hard to see it with your helmet on. I'm not going to take that. Everything's, no. everything's going to be red. No, keep it on the whole Just, time. Okay. I don't think they'll let red me into the Red is like theaters. a signature color of Endgame. I don't think they'll let me into the theaters with a, with a helmet. Well, you can try. I'll try, and I'll bring it back to the car if I don't. But I'll probably post a poll on my Facebook and Twitter. Great. And Instagram. I'm curious. I want to yep. see. But seriously, if you spoil Endgame for anyone, we will ban you. Banos. We'll use Thor's ban hammer. Snap. Oh, you just killed a lot of people. If they ban Endgame, 
Hey, it's a hair. I know, it's a hair, but it looks like it just blew your I like face. Iron Man, too. I like all of them. They've done a good job. They have. I like all these characters. Well, this is taking forever. Yeah, that's fine. It's the end. Oh, We're right. in the end game now. Oh, God. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Maybe I can live stream the event. We can, you know, take our... Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.